uno de ustedes a celebrar el cumpleaños de José Dimas y su mami le quiere dar unas palabras, igualmente yo también queremos agradecer a Dios por la vida de él, pero ella quiere dar unas palabras porque yo sé que los hijos son un regalo de Dios y ella le prometió desde el momento que, que Dimas iban a hacer la vida de Dimas a Dios y que cuando cumpliera sus 15 años se lo iba a rededicar a Dios le vamos a pedir a los jovencitos que se nos ponen atención su mamá quiere dar unas palabras yo sé que es bien difícil que los jóvenes puedan andar en los caminos de Dios y están viviendo tiempos que no son fáciles en estos tiempos son muy difíciles hay mucha lucha contra ustedes hay mucho desafío en los cuales ustedes tienen que tomar sus propias decisiones. Hay buenas amistades, pero hay malas amistades. Y depende de las decisiones que ustedes tomen. Dice en el Salmo 119, 9, ¿con qué limpiará un joven su camino? Y la palabra de Dios dice que con guardar su palabra. Si quieres tener tus caminos limpios, guarda la palabra de Dios. Yo, yo le quiero decir una cosa. Cada uno de ustedes jovencitos, tienen toda una vida por delante. Y le voy a pedir a Dimas que les interprete. So, tienen toda una vida por delante. Las jovencitas están hermosas. Y los jóvenes, pues están en toda la flor de su edad. Pero hay algo bien importante. Yo soy sobreviviente de abuso sexual. Y le voy a decir una cosa. Tener niños a los 14 años, a los 15, es bien duro. Cuídate, joven. Cuídate. Porque una cosa es que tú quieras tener sexo con alguien por no cuidarte y otra cosa es que seas abusada sexualmente. Hoy en día, muchos padres tienen que tener cuidado. Tienen que tener cuidado. ¿Qué quieren hacer con su vida? En las escuelas te ofrecen condones. En las escuelas te ofrecen, e incluso el sistema te ofrece que una píldora de aborto. Te ofrecen muchas cosas. Tengo cuatro hijos. Y esos jóvenes tuvieron amigos y tuvieron jóvenes como ustedes. Uno de ellos es Deppery, trabaja en el Estado. Es un oficial de la ley. Pero le voy a decir una cosa. Hubieron amigos que estaban bien cerca de ellos, pero tomaron caminos diferentes. Ahora están en las drogas. Mas sin embargo, la decisión que tomaron ellos ayer, the decision that, that you take from yesterday is your future today. My son got to the college and now he's an officer. But he has his own friends. And his own friends, some, some of them take bad decisions. Right now he's in drugs, drinking, and walking in the streets. My, my son has a, has a house, family. Whatever you choose, Now is your future tomorrow. But a lot of your friends, a lot of ones, you have to think in your mind what do you want for your life. Because if you know what you want for your life, the decisions that you take today, you want to be tomorrow. If you want to be something tomorrow, take the right decisions today. You want to have a good house. You want to have a, a good 
stand up tomorrow, keep on going to school. Some, some are not about your friends, that you really love you. Maybe they wanna take a bad decisions and later they're gonna go to the jail. A lot of ones, maybe they wanna be pregnant, using drugs. To be a mom, very younger, is very difficult. 15 years old is to go to the school and live the life, not to handle with little baby. It's very bad when you have that life. Somebody else abused me when I have 14 years old. And I had to, had to be a mom, 15 years old, carry my little baby they're not supposed to be like that. I don't want to live that life, but somebody else make me live that, that life. But my past don't determine my future. I choose a better future. I leave my hate out in God, and he's my justice. I find a good husband that he Love my children. They, I'm be pregnant for that guy. That guy go to the jail. But I said these words today for you guys to take a good decision because I love you guys. I want the best for you guys. And the best thing is choose your friends. Gross. Right now. My mother teach me in, my, in, in, in Mexico. I'm from Mexico. My mother teach me, you're not supposed to have a sex after you marry. I'm sorry to say this, but right now, you, you, your person is very valuable. You have to reserve your life for somebody else really reserve. Don't give your body to somebody else don't appreciate. Boys. Let me tell you something. If you have a sex with another girl and have a sex and sex with another girl and another girl, do you like somebody else have a sex with your own sister like that? So don't do the things that you don't like for your own life. Don't do the things that you don't like for your family. Respect yourself and respect others. When you respect yourself, God bless you. When you choose a good decisions, the rest is blessing. But if you guys take a good decisions today, respect your parents. If you say you go to the school, go to the school. Don't lose your time. Don't go to different places. Oh, I have my friend, I have to fight for him. If your friend jump into the hole or jump into the place you wanna jump to, you guys have to take a decision. Gross. If somebody else love you, I told my daughter I have only one daughter. And I told my daughter and I, I called a bunch of kids for the school. Okay, kids, I have a question for you guys. And and put on attention, gross. Kids, what girl you want to marry? The one, if you see a girl in the school, they don't allow nobody else to touch her. With, but you see another one that is nice and she allows you guys to touch her and have a sex and everything. Which one you wanna choose for Mary? First. The first one that don't 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 allow you because because why? She respects herself. Exactly. Do you hear that gross? You know what my daughter told me? Mom, if I do that, maybe the kids. And the school, they want to take it, I'm an old fashioned. So I make a big party in my house and I am inviting a lot of kids from the school and I ask them the same question. And everybody else answer me the same question to you guys. So that means this generation, they hungry for the real gross. Gross, don't allow the boys touching you. When you reserve yourself, you're the one that these kids for this generation looking for Mary. The other day, a guy go to my house to fix my washing machine. He's very younger, 19 years old. 
He said, I'm not married because I'm boring very fast. I'm looking for a girl that don't allow me to touch him. I wanted a girl that I can beg him for her, not somebody else begging to me. I'm looking for a hard girl. And right now everybody else says, this is what I said. Don't give it a bread free. Make it somebody else buy it. Don't give it a present before Christmas. And another worse, don't have a sex. You think if you have a sex with one guy right now, like at your age, are you guys able to marry? No, I'm sorry but you guys not. Because you guys, a lot of ones, you depend on your parents. When you have a little baby, a little boy, that boy want diapers, a lot of stuff. So my advice, my advice for you guys is because I love you, because I don't want. You know how much I'm suffering and I pray the Lord to God, give it to me the right man to love my, my children? Because when you marry another guy, he want to love his own children. But not the one that you bring them with the other marriage. It's so hard. And you suffering when the other guy don't love your kids that you have for your past. That's suffering. I pray a lot to my husband love my children. The ones that I have for that rape. But let me tell you something. I want to say this advice for you guys. Now because, because you have to be a good person. Because I want the best for you guys. You the generation for this time. Take a good decisions. And you see your future tomorrow. You reserve it. Choose your friends. Keep and go to the school. School is not, is not easy. Sometimes it's hard. Obey your parents. Respect yourself. And remember. Put on attention, because whatever you do, remember God is first. When you put on God in your life, your life is blessed. You have to put on God first. Because even people, they don't came to church, they don't go to any church. If you're Catholic or you're Christian, whatever, you want today or tomorrow, you want to go and see God's face. Remember that. And you have to put on God in your, in your steps. If you put on God in your heart, your life is blessed. You're living in the hard times. If you don't put on God in your life, trust me, it's so difficult. I have a 30 year, 33 years married, and wherever I go, I said, my past is this, but right now, right now, my future is this. I'm so happy to say my testimony, I don't live for my past, I live because I have a future. But I decide to don't hate, I decide to forgive those hurt myself. So another advice is forgive those hurt you and take the good decisions because God is justice, okay? So I decide to speak in English because I feel like, but, I'm sorry, my English is not really good. I hope you understand. But sometimes when God wants me to say something, my English is better. Okay? I think his, her, his mom want to say something, and maybe I can help her to translate it. Bueno, primeramente, que el Señor les bendiga a todos. Sean bienvenidos. God bless you to each one. El motivo de esta celebración es porque yo le había hecho una promesa a Dios. This celebration is because I make a promise to God. Cuando él nació. When Dimas born. Mm, es bien fuerte, pero el Señor le dio vida. He almost died, but the Lord gave him life. A él me lo diagnosticaron que no iba a caminar, no iba a ver. The doctor say he don't, the, the, the doctor say maybe in the future he don't want to walk, he don't want to see. Basically, he, with, uh, he want to die with a big disease. 
Y entonces es, el Señor trató conmigo en ese tiempo y me dijo que so the Lord spoke to me and he told me hiciera una promesa. To make a pow, to make a promise to him. Y aquí estoy cumpliendo una de ellas. And here I am, I mean, doing the promise that I keep in the, to the Lord, serving him and bringing him to him. Estoy muy agradecida con Dios. I'm very blessed with God. Porque Dios le dio vida a él. Because God gave life to him. El Señor le bendiga y este es mi testimonio. God bless you and this is my testimony and welcome to this celebration for me, son. Bienvenidos todos. Welcome. It's very nice. It's very nice, but let me tell you something. You know what I'm thinking before, before God came to my heart? Before I invited Jesus to my heart? I always thinking in my mind to be somebody else to hurt out every single man because before I hate every single man. I hate every single man because you know when you are raped for somebody else when you have five years old and when you are raped when you are 14 years old, you just thinking and asking yourself where, why you born? Just to somebody else hurt your life? But you know what? A lot of hate is in my heart. I go to psychologists, I go to different places to try to help me. Nobody else can have that kind of pain, only God. It's a lot of holes in our lives. Sometimes my own father tried to kill me. My own brother raped me when I have a five years old. So I said, if you God, if you really assist, heal me, save me, and he is real. I'm not talking about religion. I'm talking about relation. And I, in my own painful day, I scream into him and say, God, if you assist, change my destiny. Save my life, and he do that. I choose God's way. I choose forgiveness. And I choose to allow God to be my justice. If you ask me, where is this guy? In the jail. They take his papers and put him out of Mexico. I'm good, my kids is good. All my family is good. I'm blessed. Nobody else can teach me about pain, but I said, I said to you today, if you choose God, your life is changed. God bless you. I'm just thankful for everyone of y'all for coming. Estoy muy agradecido con todos ustedes por venir aquí a este mi día especial y hay que Dios sigo guardándolos a ustedes y que Dios los bendiga. Say in English. Oh, I'm very thankful for every single one of y'all coming and celebrating this special day for, with me and God bless y'all. And thank you very much for coming to this celebration. So now the mariachi coming and singing to them. <laughs> okay, brothers and sisters coming and singing with the mariachi in life. And feel free. And, and, if he, and, and I want to say this, if anyone feel, because God used me to pray for people when they have a, this kind of life, and God delivering them. And if you feel like in your life you pass a lot of stuff, I can give you my phone number and I can pray for you and trust me, your life can be healed. God bless you. Okay, welcome to singing to the mariachis, to his birthday, because we want a cake. Dios te bendiga. Es un placer estar con ustedes acá. Dice que falta esto. Ok, ahí. Eh, muchas felicidades a tu cañero. Eh, vamos a cantarle las mañanitas. Tú estás ya muy chiquita, pero. Eh, eh, nos cantamos entre todos. Oye, todos lo sabemos. Le cantamos las Ah, 
la mañana en que vengo a saludarte. Venimos todos con gusto y placer a felicitarte. El día en que tú naciste, nacieron todas las flores. Hoy por ser día de tu fiesta, te deseamos felicidades. Y abre todo. Ya viene amaneciendo y a la luz del día nos dio. Levántate mañana, mira que ya amaneció. Estrellas del cielo quisiera bajar de hoy. Una para saludarte y otra para decirte adiós. Volaron cuatro palomas por todita la ciudad. Hoy por ser día de tu fiesta, te deseamos felicidades. Ya viene amaneciendo y a la luz del día nos dio. Levántate de mañana, mira que ya amaneció. So he's very pleasant. The other mariachi is singing to him. So, I think we need to count it to him. Okay, one, two, three. You need to load it in there. Other way you want to lose your candles. Yes, you need to. en que vengo a saludarte venimos todos con gusto y placer a felicitarte el día en que tú naciste nacieron todas las flores en la fila del batizo cantaron los triseñores ya viene amaneciendo y la luz de mi Dios levanta de la mañana, mira que amaneció. Si yo pudiera bajarte las estrellas y un cero, solo para demostrarte mucho que yo te quiero Tomar mi flores Este día voy a donar Hoy por ser Un día tu santo Te venimos a cantar No, espérate que venga, traigan un cuchillo. A ver, hermana, pues este, traigan un cuchillo, ¿no? So right now they want to pass the cake. 